Greetings everyone. My name is Amy Moore and I've made this short video to help provide one example out of many and how you could use AI chat box in your work as faculty. I'm going to show you how I used a mix of Microsoft and Google's AI chatbots to reduce the time it takes to generate a good question bank from a textbook chapter to about 25% of the original time. Vermont State Colleges gives us all access to the commercial Microsoft Copilot. This is not the Copilot that integrates with Microsoft 365, but it's way better than the free basic Copilot or other popular AI chatbots like ChatGPT or Gemini Bard, even the paid ones, because by using it signed into your VSC account, everything you submit is private and protected. It will not be saved. It will not be used for testing the chatbots. It cannot be seen, searched, or discovered by anyone but you, not even VSC tech folks. Whenever possible, this is the best choice for us as an AI chatbot because it protects our information and our students' information. The textbook information I want to read and evaluate is copyrighted and, while using a chatbot as a tool to read it for me and disseminate what I want from it, this is the only AI chatbot available to me that will not share this document. For generating my incorrect answers from experience like Gemini, which used to be barred up until February 7th, 2024. I encourage you to experiment with different chatbots for different projects to see what you like best. They all have pros and cons, something I've covered in other seminars. I've taken some time to write down the overall process for this. If I were doing it without bots, I'd write questions and answers as I read through the text. Each question and qualified right and wrong answer takes me about 15 minutes to write correctly into Canvas in this manner. For this project, I'm evaluating a 19-page chapter. So for making the PDF, I've recorded my screen for this process. Here I am taking one of the three chapters assigned for the reading and printing it as a PDF. Copilot will work with either 2,000 characters of text, which is about a paragraph, or a PDF file. For Copilot to read a PDF, it has to be somewhere that doesn't require a password. For schoolwork, I exclusively use our College OneDrive, but it, it is set by the State College admin to not allow sharing outside of the State College system, so I can't work with Copilot from there. I also rarely keep files on my local hardware, so for this reason I've chosen to put it on my personal Google Drive and set the file's permission so anyone with the link can view it. I decided to leave it at that anyone with the link can edit, but I don't believe Copilot will actually need that. When I'm done, I'll remove that to free up space in my cloud storage. But no one can access this without the link. I first tried seeing if I could get it to work on Chrome. Chrome has been my default browser for around a decade. I'm not sure if it's my attempt to use a hyperlink, which I have to do in Chrome, but not Edge, or if it's my prompt. That's the trouble here. My prompt reads, please generate 30 college-level quiz questions from this PDF, and then I pasted a hyperlink to the file. Copilot replies with, I'm sorry, but I cannot generate quiz questions from a PDF file. This is beyond my current capabilities. However, I can suggest some tools that might help you with this task. For example, you can try using Microsoft Forms, and it offers a link to a YouTube video on doing that. Or QuizZoodle, and it offers a link to QuizZoodle to convert your PDF file into a quiz. Alternatively, you... Dot, 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 and I told it to stop responding. Notice that even in a browser other than Edge, I do have an account that is protected meaning any submissions are private and will not be stored or used as training data by Microsoft or OpenAI. We can see that up in the top right next to our profile picture, or right above the prompt field. I must be logged into Copilot for this to work like this. I've now opened up Microsoft's Edge browser and opened the PDF in my Google Drive in the main window. Then I open Copilot from the browser. 
In Chrome, I had to open it from Bing. In this video, you'll see me give Copilot three different prompts. What's extra frustrating that you don't see in this video is that this is the second chapter I've done this for, and the prompt I start with, please generate 25 college-level questions from this PDF, is what succeeded in my previous attempt. It worked perfectly. Now, like a petulant child, it's responding this time with, I'm so sorry, but I cannot generate 25 questions from this PDF. That is beyond my current capabilities. I can only generate one question at a time, and only if the question is related to content of the PDF. If you want to test your knowledge of the PDF, you can ask me specific questions about it, such as, what is tokenization, or what are some of the challenges of NLP? I will try my best to answer these or provide a summary of the relevant section. Thank you for your understanding, smiley face. You've probably heard AI chatbots can hallucinate and give incorrect information. This is one of those times. If you're new to working with chatbots, you might give up here because it told you to. Now it's wrong in this first attempt because, one, I used the same prompt on a similar PDF, a previous chapter, and got 25 questions. Two, I also know it's wrong because it wrote two perfectly good questions in its response, not just the one as it claims it's restricted to. I take a little bit of its advice with its pre-generated prompt of how can I learn more about NLP by writing a new prompt. Let's check that out. With that pre-generated prompt of how can I learn more about NLP, I write a new prompt. Natural language processing, after all, is the title of this chapter. My new prompt is generate some college-level questions about natural language processing from this PDF. And Copilot writes me five good questions from the text. This is not as many as I want from a 19-page chapter. I consider this a partial fail, but it does help me better understand how I need to rework my prompt. To successfully work with AI chatbots, it's important to keep in mind that this is a tool just like a hammer. If you miss the nail, it's not the hammer's fault. Sure, that hammer has hit the nail the last hundred times, but if it hit your thumb this time, don't stop hammering. Adjust and carry on. With five questions provided, I did write one prompt and it failed, but I try to write one more prompt to see if I can work Copilot to give me more questions. Keep in mind that this third piece of video, combined with the last two pieces, is less than three and a half minutes. You could not pull even five questions from that PDF as a human in three and a half minutes. We're not going to have great at success this time either, but we won't give up. I ask it to generate more questions like the first five, and it does generate more, but some are repeats. In my final prompt, I ask it for more and to not repeat, but it does repeat, so I'm going back to the drawing board to reconsider my prompts. Copilot is supposed to remember stuff from prompt to prompt, but it clearly doesn't remember what I want it to remember, or as I would expect. So there's more questions, but it's still not my 20. Let's do one more thing. I start over with a new browser window with the same content and new Copilot side panel. I choose the more precise style. Microsoft is secretive about what the tools are behind those buttons, more creative, more balanced, more precise. But I've heard that the balanced one may use a lower level of ChatGP than the current four and soon to be five. I write a more descriptive prompt as well, even though I've previously had success with the last prompt. My typing has errors, but this one is a success. I wrote, I need help writing quiz questions for a quiz for college freshmen based on this PDF. Please write about 20 questions based on the content of the PDF. I get a completely different response this time. Copilot starts by introducing itself. Hi, this is Copilot. I can help you write some of some questions for a quiz based on the PDF. Here are some possible questions. It then proceeds to write 20 questions from the 19-page PDF that are perfectly good questions for a quiz. And all this portion of working with Copilot took me about 10 minutes. That's about the time it would take me to type all those questions. It would take longer to call them from the text. Now I can just copy and paste them and move on to the next step.
Copilot allows me to copy the text from the chat, and I've just saved it in Word. From experience, I prefer Google's AI chatbot Gemini to generate incorrect answers for me. Your mileage may vary. I like it because Gemini, formerly known as Bard, will explain why it has selected the incorrect answers it comes with, with, which is additional feedback for students in a testing environment. I can get it to create answers from within the field, humorous ones, and even answers that may sound correct but are from entirely different fields. Let's take a look. Here I've put my Word document with questions up on my split screen next to Gemini. I'm currently using a free trial copy of Gemini Advance, but I can tell you from experience this does not change these results. The free regular version of Gemini works just as well. I start by writing the beginning of my prompt at the beginning of my Word document, so it's a quick copy and paste, and I don't have to, have to type it every time. You can see how I work in clarifying my prompt as I go along. I'm not thrilled with the first incorrect answers for the first question, but they will work. I let Gemini do its work. I ask for correct answers, ask for more incorrect answers, and I keep working along. While this may seem time-consuming, it would normally take me about four hours to write 20 multiple-choice questions, with even less feedback than Gemini is providing me. I wouldn't take the time to look up why the incorrect answers are wrong, but Gemini tells me. None of this video is sped up, so you can see how my working with Gemini is in real time. And I'm not going to go through this whole document with you, but here we do a second question to see even better results in incorrect answers. After getting all your questions copied and pasted, you can use a QTI converter to create a zip file that Canvas can upload and convert to a question bank in seconds, so you do not need to retype all of this. You will delete a lot of the chatbot work. Word can manage all this formatting for you fairly quickly, but this piece is an entirely different video, and many people have already made them. What I've shown here is, by using a mix of AI chatbots, it can take a four-hour process and make it less than an hour. There's a learning curve, but it's overcome with practice and sharing.